Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Didsbury Art Studio and I am Sally. Ta-da! <laughs> okay then, how are you doing Rayla? You all right? Little stroke? Yeah? <laughs> all right then, here you go. I'm looking at her. There she is. Oh, we've got some singing in the background as well and some radio. Okay. Today we are going to be working into the prints that we did in the last video and I'm going to be using the sewing machines. Shall we get straight into it? So to begin with, what I've done here is I've got some tracing paper and I found some lettering that I quite like to use. So I traced over the top of it on my laptop screen and then I put some graphite on the back or just a strong pencil and then I drew over the top onto my paper design with pencil and you can see it's on there and now I'm going to sew into this paper on my machine using black thread and the darning fork for free motion embroidery. Right then gang, it is going to work for a little bit and then it's going to conk out because I can see that the thread's running out already on my bobbin. I have threaded up my needle with black and I'm going to use straight stitch and I'm going to do a shortish length, maybe number two, and drop my foot and let's see how we go on paper. So you can move your paper as you go along. I'm going to make my stitch length bigger. Four. Obviously as, hello, obviously as a safety precaution, do make sure that your hands are well away from the foot and keep them on the edge of your paper, not close by. So I'm using Gutterman thread by the way. So I've just done the R in street and I've just been left with my needle in the middle of the page. So I'm just going to lift it up and I want to just drag it to a new area. So I'm just going to drop that needle in. So I'm not going to carry on with this, that is actually finished with street art letters there. But what you would do is obviously build up using other thread colours, maybe filling in some of the letters if you wanted to with stitch and just building up your areas. The next one I'm going to do is working on fabric, this one, the last video that I showed you. So I'm going to put this one in a hoop and I'm going to trace some lettering onto it and I will choose perhaps not black this time because uh, there's a lot of black in this already. I might go with a pale blue or a yellow. Okay. Okay, so what I've done here is I've put my fabric into an embroidery hoop and see there I've just gone over with pen. I've traced hip hop onto this fabric that we put the acrylic on and now I'm going to be using pale blue thread. I'm just using zigzag stitch here. I've got white on my bobbin. If you want to fill one of your letters, I'm just going to use zigzag here just to show you. giving it an outline. And go back over it to exaggerate it with zigzag. Okay, so this is what we've got. I've shown you that I've used a zigzag stitch around the outside to exaggerate the line and make it stand out. I've filled in one of my letters with zigzag stitch to get a more opaque finish, or you can leave it more linear. But I am going to stop there today. I'm sure that you can see that using those acrylic backgrounds as a base works exceptionally well for this theme. Okay, so that was the first one that we did and I've just literally taken the scissors and cut around the actual print there, which I think works well. You might want to go in and fill some of your letters and make it more opaque. 
and then the acrylic fabric and some cotton and I have used the zigzag stitch and straight stitch to get written on there but you again could add more words, letters going in different directions and filling that up more but it's just really to show you both techniques. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, don't forget to give it a big like. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, do hit the subscribe button. It's free for you. And hit the notification button so that you can see when I upload. I'm trying to upload every Tuesday and Thursday, but there are gonna be times with my other jobs that that's just not gonna work. So I'll try my best. And also check out the playlist that I'm gonna leave there. And do let me know know in the comments if you made it to the end by leaving me a smiley emoji and also in the comments two things please can you let me know of any video requests that you quite fancy my voice won't work then <clears throat> whoops any video requests that you have there is anything that you particularly would like then I will take that on board and see what I can do all right then have a great week and see you shortly bye